I'm Colleen with TechCrunch TV here at Seed Camp, and with me is Christopher Lawson, the founder and CEO of Holvi, or yeah, just so, the founder? So, uh, just the founder. Uh, so we're, we're kind of like co-CEOs at the moment. Okay. Uh, Holby. Great. And um, Holvi has a very interesting thing that it does. It's it's banking. Yeah. Uh, can you can you talk to us about it? So basically, it's a whole new banking service. Um, uh, and one that combines an extremely nice user interface uh, with the whole concept of like a group account and um, bringing budgeting as part of the actual uh, banking experience. I mean, I just feel that these two worlds should never have been apart, uh, apart like accounting and uh, banking. So we've brought those worlds together so that the whole bookkeeping process is completely seamless, um, it's completely automatic, and it happens in real time. And that's an interesting, I hadn't realized it's sort of this meshing together of yeah. accounting and banking for large organizations, or just any organization and company. And and you've built clearly companies and things. And so, so, so the, the, the people that we are targeting at, at the moment are group activities, uh, people who are running just fun, great stuff. Um, they want to be able to talk with their whole team doing things. They don't want to mess around with the money. So these are people who are running great events. There are people who are running sports clubs. Uh, associations, that kind of thing. So they don't want to mess with the money, but they're finding that they have to do that, and it's taking a hell of a lot of joy out of it, and they're taking a lot of time, and, and it's just stupid for them to have to, to go through that kind of effort. I see. So it's not necessarily companies for whom money and accounting is a basic thing that they're going to have to have. Yeah, so we're looking at companies a bit further down the line. Um, I mean, the, the difference with companies is that they're not particularly well networked with each other. Um, and we just see a big opening here. I mean, because I'm an event organizer myself, and I've been involved with these activities, and it's just the tools that they're using are just horrible. Um, there is, I mean, there's great tools out there for personal finance management for, you know, you and me, but there's nothing for these kind of group activities, and that's, that's crazy. There's, there should be something out there. Great. And so can you tell me, yeah, you said that you have sort of organized events and things yeah. like that, and that's really where this basic need came from. And it sounds like you have a pretty solid team, you know, amassed here that kind of built, you guys all built this project. Can you tell me about it? Can you tell me about your team? Yeah, so we have six people. Um, it, we're, it's developer driven, so we have like five developers. Um, uh, several of them have like payment background, uh, but also like user interface background. And then we have one really kick-ass designer. Um, all of us have participated in event organizing, running associations, running organizations. So we all feel the problem, and all, we've all gone through that same, pro uh, you know, the same issues time and time again. And we just felt no, we have to do something about this. So we re we invented a bank uh, to do that. And so, what are the sort of regulatory issues there with inventing a bank? I yeah. mean, that sounds so ambitious. Yeah, so we're regulated as uh, what is called the payments uh, payment server or payment institution rather uh, inside the European Union, um, and uh, that allows us to basically do a lot of the stuff that a bank would do. Uh, so hold money, uh, make payments in and out. Uh, from the customer point of view, it looks like a bank. So they sign up to us and they get their account. Um, from a regulatory point of view, the the main difference is that we can't take your money and lose it on the housing market. So that sounds like a plus. Yes, <laughs> for us it definitely is. Um, and are you guys planning on, on making a move into the United States at all? We would love to do that, obviously. I mean, it's, it's a big market, but uh, for a financial service, it's, you, ha you have to go what, like one step at a time. Um, and uh, for us, we, we, we're focusing on Europe for the moment. That's a, that's a big opportunity there. Um, and after that, then definitely we're, we're thinking about the U.S., obviously, everybody is. Great. And so your pre-launch at the moment, do you have yeah. any, are you sort of in a beta mode now? Do you have any people who are using the system and has there been any preliminary feedback from them? Yeah, we've got a few, uh, few pilots uh, running with the service and uh, a waiting list, which is ever growing. Mm -hmm. And um, the feedback has been incredibly positive. Uh, I mean, we should, I don't know, we're not sales guys, so we go in and we show the product and they're like, yeah, I want to buy it, I'm like, when can I start using it? So we don't have to do anything, it's like, okay, cool. Um, and uh, that, that has been really, really good. And um, so we're, we kind of brought in the first sort of real pilots this January, and uh, we've now been making like sort of thousands of transactions uh, through the system, and we're making revenue out of that, and um, so things are looking pretty good. Nice. And so what are you doing here at Seed Camp? What's sort of the objective of coming to this? Yeah, obviously for us it's a bit different than a lot of the other com companies because we're like Europe focused and Europe based. Um, but for me, I know that there are some great companies 
operating in a similar kind of space. I mean, Bank Simple is a, is a cool example of, of a similar kind of stack that we have. And um, so looking forward to meeting those guys uh, and just meeting other people who are thinking the same way as we are about financial services. And, you know, just to learn from the scene, it's the first, first time I've ever been here. Um, so it's great to kind of get inspired and uh, hook up with other fellow entrepreneurs and, and really get that energy uh, to push us for, forward. Great. And what's it? I mean, it seems like, you know, Helsinki is a great place to be. And I'll, I mean, so many wonderful designers and yeah. it has kind of a great energy that yeah. sort of is associated with it. I mean, obviously, Silicon Valley is great, too, but... Yeah, I mean, the, the entrepreneur kind of scene in Helsinki has really exploded uh, over the past few years. Uh, Helsinki and Finland have always been really, really strong with technology. Um, you know, a lot of great things, Linux, MySQL, all of these things come from, from uh, Finland. Uh, but what has happened now is that people are going beyond that and just creating companies, uh, fantastic new ideas, and there's a lot of energy going on uh, right now. Uh, so it is a it is a very interesting place to be, and because of the technology talent, I mean, you can get some of the best coders in the world uh, yeah. and start working on stuff. Great. Well, um, thank you so much, and and best of luck. Thanks for talking to us. Thank you very much, and and uh, hopefully we can show you some of the product as well, because uh, it's really cool. Great.